It's a small boat, simple, classic, wooden. But imagine living on this for months and months, cramped quarters, rough seas, and a journey no one could forget, because this boat sailed around the world three times. Trekker is significant because she was actually built here in Victoria. And at the time, which was in the early 1950s, she was the smallest boat, little wooden boat, to sail around the world. It was built by John Guswell, who interestingly enough, didn't have a whole lot of boat building experience. But with a little help from the local community, he managed to put the parts together. He actually glued up the keel for the Trekker in the YMCA boiler room uh, on View Street. And then he managed to rent a cheap accommodation behind uh, Johnny's Fish and Chip Shop downtown here, which doesn't exist anymore, and he built the whole boat there. Goswell was inspired to build the Trekka after hearing the story of the Tillicum. This boat had set off on an around-the-world voyage years before. Just take a look inside the Trekka. She's not that big, but Goswell sailed this boat for five years before returning to Victoria. Even at his age, um, he's uh, quite an imposing person, and, and to be on this little boat is something else. Tony Grove is an expert in restoring wooden boats and no stranger to both the Trekka and Goswell. I knew of Trekka, I knew about the story of Trekka, um, and I've just been following it. I've met John Goswell a couple of times. Who built Grove has been working on fixing Trekka's keel, which was removed, sandblasted, and is now being placed back on. People are drawn to the Trekka not only for its history, but the workmanship. And like any wooden boat aficionado will tell you, these are simply the best. I think that there's still a, there's still a strong romance, still a true love for the wooden boats. When you go to a dock, you might see a million, ten million dollar boat, and you'll still be drawn to that little wooden one sitting there at the dock. After the trek is finished, it'll join other wooden boats at the Classic Boat Festival on September long weekend. And then its permanent resting place will be right here at the Maritime Museum. And for everyone that loves the story and has been inspired to sail themselves, well, they can come take a look at the little boat that could. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily.